Hi, my name is Morgan. I am a name consultant. I've got a special interest in vintage names and observing the data and making predictions on what might end up happening with the naming trends in the future based on what we have seen in the past. And one phenomenon I think is very interesting to examine is what I call the pet name to baby name pipeline. The pet name to baby name pipeline is basically the idea that we start to see names trend for pets before we do for babies when they are maybe a little more whimsical or daring. A recent example I can think of is the name Luna. We saw that become popular for pets a decade, two decades before we ever saw that start to trend for babies. And now it's a top 10 girls name in the United States. With that in mind, every year, just like the Social Security Administration releases their top baby names for the United States, Rover releases their top dog names for the pets in their databases. So I thought we'd take a look at the top dog names on Rover and see where they rank this year for babies in the United States. Ladies first, looking at the top 10 girls names for dogs this year, they were Luna, Bella, Daisy, Lucy, Lily, Lola, Zoe, Sadie, Stella, and Bailey. And I already covered Luna, the number one dog name in the United States. That is ranked number 10 for girls in the United States this year. It just made its debut in the top 10, but it has been creeping its way that way for the last few years. Bella is the second most popular dog's name. Right now, Bella is a standalone name. It's ranked 106 in the United States. But if you look to Isabella, that is ranked number seven. And I think a good majority of little Isabella's end up going by Bella, if not Izzy. Next, we have Daisy. That's ranked 110 in the United States, so not overly popular, but not obscure by any means either. And it has been steadily rising in popularity since 2016. Lucy is ranked four for dogs, and it is ranked 40 for human babies. Lily is ranked number five for dogs, and it's ranked number 20 for baby girls. Coming in at number six is Lola, and this is the least popular baby name on the list, but even with that said, it's ranked 263. So chances are if you gave your baby the name Lola, she'd be the only one in her grade, maybe even the only one in her school with that name, but it's not a name that feels way out of left field either. Next we have Zoe, spelled Z-O-E, ranked 37, but Zoe, Z-O-E-Y, is ranked 51. So if you combine the two, it's actually a much more popular name if we're just looking at the phonetics and not splitting them up by the spelling. Sadie is eight for dogs, 59 for babies. Stella is nine for dogs and 46 for baby girls. And then finally, Bailey is ranked 172 for babies in the United States. Now looking at the popular boy names for dogs, these are a little less concentrated to the more popular end of the spectrum. Some of these are even outside the top 1,000. But number one, we have Charlie, and this is Charlie's first year in the top um, spot for dogs, actually. It just dethroned Max, so Max is number two. But Charlie ranking in number one, it's a given name, Charlie's ranked 175, but Charles is ranked 54. And just like we were talking about how a lot of Isabella's end up going by Bella, a lot of little baby Charles will end up being Charlie, making the name feel more popular than it actually technically is by ranking. Second, we have the name Max. This one's ranked 163 for boys. It actually fell out of the top 100 for boys in 2012, so it used to be a little more popular than it is now, and it's just been staying in between 100 and 200 ever since. Cooper ranks number three for dogs. It ranks 52 for baby boys. Milo, number four, and for baby boys, 121. Now the least popular name on this list for babies is fifth most popular for dogs is Buddy. But actually for babies, it ranks in at 3,171 and it was used 38 times last year in 2023. So it is used as a baby's name, maybe based on the pet name to baby name pipeline, we'll see this name start to be used a little bit more. I do think most often if you meet a child named Buddy, it is a nickname, but you can see parents actually are using it. The second least common for babies is kind of based on a technicality, and that is Teddy. Um, Teddy is ranked 1002. Technically, it would be in the top 1000 because it's actually tied with like five other names, but the um, Social Security Administration, to break the tiebreakers, they just go in alphabetical order. So it could be ranked as high as 997, but it's technically outside the top 1000. But also, we've got the name Theodore, which is very, very popular. I would say the majority of Theodores that I have seen are going by Theo, but there is a good number of them still going by Teddy. So Teddy might feel more popular than the date that would lead you to believe. Coming in at seven and eight are two names that feel very uncommon for babies. They are in the top 1000, but they aren't overly used by any means. They are Rocky and Bear. Rocky is ranked 891. Bear is ranked 817 in the United States for babies. The ninth most popular dog name on this list is the one that's most common for babies out of these, and that is Leo, and that's ranked 18. That's my nephew's name, so I've got a soft spot for the name Leo. I actually do know a few dogs named Leo as well. Um, and then finally, another one I know a dog named is Duke. And that one's ranked 684 for human babies in the United States. I think it's really fun. Rover does kind of an analysis on the name data they put out to. So a trend they noticed where like, the 90s nostalgia names are all trending upwards. So for example, like I was born in the 90s and these names all felt very 
nostalgic for lack of a better word to me too. It's like Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup all turning upwards for dogs. Furby, Polly Pocket, Elmo, all characters I grew up with when I was very little all turning upwards. I have cats with food names but dogs with food names made big leaps too. Beer, which I thought was interesting. I've never heard of a dog named Beer. I've heard lots of bears, not beer. Green Bean, Cheerio, S'more, and Tiramisu. I thought Tiramisu was so cute. If I ever need another kitty on my roster, Tiramisu is going on the potential name list. I was interviewed by Glamour Magazine right after Barbie came out, trying to predict if it was gonna have a big impact on baby names. My answer was like, probably not a huge impact. I think we are gonna see Margot have a bigger impact than the name Barbie or Kinwood. But we actually saw Kin trend as a dog name, not as a baby name, but it did jump 79% for dogs after the Barbie movie, which is pretty wild. I recently made a video, I'll link in the caption, about baby names dads suggest that moms shoot down. And through the comments in that video, I learned that a lot of those names actually came from video games. People were like, they only like this name because it's from this video game and this name because it's from that one. And that was very eye-opening to me. I'm not a video game connoisseur myself, so I had no clue. And it's an interesting pattern now that I know to look for it. It's something I'm seeing over and over again with my consultation clients that the names that dads are suggesting often do come from their favorite video game, if not video game, from their favorite sports player. But video game names are also taking the dog name world by storm and they listed the names Princess Peach, Bowser, Maple, Link, Zelda, Timmy, Yoshi, Daisy, Kirby, and Mario, all as being names that grew in popularity for dogs last year. So it's kind of fun to see those trends coexist with one another. Rover has such a beautiful breakdown of this data on their website. That's gonna be linked below. I'll also link the SSA data down below if you wanna play around with it. My dog is named Maisie, so she didn't make the top 10 or even top 20 for girls. I still think Maisie is a beautiful doggy name. I also think it's a beautiful baby name. And sometimes I wonder, I'm like, would it be on my potential daughter's name list if I hadn't named my dog that. But then I go back and I'm like, I think I only love it as much as I do because I love my dog. So who knows? But what's your pet's name and would you give that name to your baby if it wasn't already your pet's name? We hope everyone's having a good day. I'm gonna be back soon. I'm back on this YouTube thing. I think I want to dip my toe back into long form content. This wasn't too bad to film. It always just seems so much more intimidating than like pulling out my phone and filming a TikTok. I know the lighting's not great. I'm using like my anti-depression lamp. I don't know. It would be better if this is what it looks like. It's supposed to like mimic vitamin D, but it would be better if it was up here. I know down here wasn't the best, but I am gonna reinvest in some more formal, long form video lighting in the next few weeks. There'll be a few videos that you see before that happens, but it will happen. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day.